What's up guys? You're watching Gregorio Girls Makeup. If you're new, my name's Shauna and I run this channel with my sister Devin. And in today's video, we have a first impressions and a review of some of the products from Makeup Obsession. They were just released in Target recently, so if you would like to see my thoughts on some of their products, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I already have the majority of my face on, as you can see. So I only got three products from Makeup Obsession today when I went into Target. So what I will be giving my first impressions on will be their Be In Love With palette. So just a cute little pinky and neutral toned eyeshadow palette, one of their highlighters, and then one of their lip glosses. So first I am, of course, going to start with the highlighters. So this is their highlighter in the shade Mega Honey. I'm just gonna get some of that on my highlighter brush. I'm not going to spray it my face first. I am just going to actually do this side with no spray and then this side I will do with spray. And we'll see how it goes. Hmm. And then a little bit above the brow. Alright, so that's a really nice little like golden glow that I've got going on there. But of course I do want to spray it and just see if we can make it look even more intense. Because why wouldn't I want that? So I am going to go in with my Mario Badescu spray and just spray this side of my face now. And then grab a little bit more before that dries. To be honest, first impression is this side looks just as metallic and reflective as this side. So this is like a pretty good highlighter, I would say, so far. As far as like the intensity of the highlight goes. Okay, so my eyes are primed and set. So I do want to go in with the Be In Love With eyeshadow palette. So... Let's see what we got. Well, first let's just talk about the packaging. So it's nice and compact. It's like kind of thick this way, but I kind of like it. And then there are 10 colors inside and there's this nice little mirror in here too. So I kind of like the packaging so far. I obviously like the color story. It's nothing we haven't seen before. I feel like a lot of people like these colors. I feel like these colors look good on a lot of different people. So I like it. So first I want to start with treasure right here. All right, so I zoomed you guys in a little bit. It's always hard for me to like make sure I'm in frame and not holding my palette or my mirror up like in front of your guy in front of my face and you guys can't see. So if I do, I am so sorry. I know I'm bad at it. Going in with treasure, popping that right in our crease. I feel like it's blending pretty nicely. Pop a little in the outer corner. Build that up. You guys also get a front row seat to see how bad my eyebrows are. I do definitely feel like I have to keep like dipping in. And every time I dip in and tap off the excess, a lot kind of goes off, which is normally fine, but it kind of feels like there's not a lot of shadow staying on my brush after I tap off the excess. It kind of feels like it's all flying off and then I don't have as much pigment on my brush. So that's something to keep in mind. And then you know what to do, just take some of that and pop it right under your lash line. Yeah, I definitely feel like I really have to dip into this. Honestly, my initial opinion is just kind of like, okay, for the price point, they're not terrible. Like, they're not terribly chalky. I'm definitely getting color payout. They're definitely blending pretty nicely, but just how much I have to dip in, it's kind of like not ideal. All right, so next on a different fluffy brush, I just want to go in with Rapport and just start building the intensity of the look. And same with this color, I feel like I really kind of have to dip in. Yeah, I guess these are these are a little patchy. The color's not really building up in the outer corner of my eye. I'm gonna try and pack it there. All right, and then run a little bit of this underneath as well. So next I want to go in with Soulmate and I'm going to take that on my Morphe M433 brush. It's a little bit flatter so it's going to kind of help me pack the darker color a little bit more into like the outer corner of my eye. And then I'm just taking like a little ABH brush just to kind of buff that out. And I do want to deepen this up, so I just continue to pack it on again. I feel like the darker color is a little bit better, but it's still going on kind of patchy. All the, it feels like all the pigments like flying off when I top off the excess, so. 
It all looks very weird in the viewfinder, but honestly, in person, I don't hate the look. I don't think it looks that bad. I don't think it looks like I'm like struggling to blend it out, but it just feels like it's a little bit patchy right in here. And then I'm just gonna get that same Soulmate color just on like a little brush like this. This is an ABH brush and hit our lower lash line with just a little bit of that. So I think I want to pop a little bit of Romeo all over my lid. So I'm going to do one eye without my Too Faced glitter glue and then the other eye with it just to test to see if it needs it or if it if it's good on its own. So I'm going to take just a flat paddle brush, dip into that color and then just press it. Yeah, this is a little bit lackluster. It just feels kind of dry. I would have to sit here and pack this on forever to get it to be the intensity that I want. So of course going in with my trusty Too Faced glitter glue. Pop some of that all over my lid. There we go. And you can just see the intensity of that shine versus that. <laughs> All right, so no glitter glue, glitter glue. It looks like two total, it looks like I didn't even put anything over here. So um, yeah, if you buy this, you definitely need some type of like Nick, the NYX glitter glue or the Too Faced glitter glue or something to give a little help. So I'll just add some here too. All right, now I wanna take just a little bit more of Soulmate and put that in the outer corner. And then you guys already know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into the darkest brown of the palette. This one is the shade Bow, and just go in with my little flat brush and do the eyeshadow eyeliner. And in all honesty, this brown isn't overly impressive either. I am getting just like a little bit of fallout on my cheeks and that would be fine. One, I should have powdered. I would be fine with just having some fallout in general if there was still some pigment staying on my brush and getting applied to my eyes. But it feels like there's more fallout on my face than the amount that I am able to apply to where I actually want it to go on my eyes. So, um, yeah. So I'm just going to spray my Sigma E30 brush with just a little bit of that Mario Badescu spray and just get a little bit more of this highlighter right here. And then of course add that to my inner corner and underneath my brow bone. So I have popped on my lashes. They are the Kiss 11 lashes. And this one right here is hanging on by a thread. She has had enough for the day, but I'm not gonna fix her because I'm lazy. So we are gonna move on to lips. For lips, I am using the Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner. And this is in the shade Bare to Comment. Now for lipstick, I'm gonna use the PYT Beauty Strike Twice Lip Duo. This is in the shade Bare All. Um, I'm just gonna use the lipstick, obviously, because I wanna try out the Makeup Obsessions Lip Gloss, so I will be neglecting this side today. And then of course I am going to finish up by using our last Makeup Obsessions product. This is our lip gloss in the shade Dreams. This is pretty pigmented and like kind of obviously not fully opaque, but it's not very sheer. I feel like the lipstick that I used is a shade darker than this. And I feel like this has kind of just completely lightened up my lips. So this is definitely a very pigmented, not very sheer lip gloss. And honestly, it feels pretty comfortable. It doesn't feel overly sticky. Yeah, it feels feels pretty nice so far. So this is the completed look. So my first impressions honestly are, I like the highlight. I think it's really nice. I think it's pretty reflective and metallic. And I believe this is about seven or eight dollars. And then so far I definitely feel like I like the lip gloss too. I feel like this is somewhere around seven dollars as well. And then the eyeshadow palette I believe sat somewhere around ten dollars. 
at this point. I'm not going to recommend it to you guys. I don't think it's anything that you need to rush out and get. Now, since this portion of the video was just a first impression, I'm going to give these products a few more tries. So I think I will use them until the end of the week. So just a few more days. I think I'll probably have a sense of what I like and what I don't like. And then I will come back and report to you guys my final thoughts as like a review. So I'll see you in the next clip, but really it'll be a couple days from now. So all right guys, so it is a few days later. I just wanted to come on here and update you guys on the Makeup Obsessions products that I tried. Um, obviously we're doing this very casually. I am filming on my phone. So first I've got the Mega Honey Highlighter. I'm wearing it right now. I feel like it gives you a nice glow. Not much to say about it. It's just a pretty standard. Um, it looks like it's a baked texture type of highlighter, but I think it works really nicely especially for the price point, I would say if you're interested, definitely give it a try. They have a bunch of different colors. So, so next we have the lip gloss. So when I was filming the portion of the video that you just watched, um, I thought I liked it. The color was pretty nice and it was definitely pigmented. But after I turned the camera off and had it on my lips for a little while, it dried down matte, which I was a little bit confused about because when I think of a lip gloss, I don't think of something matte. I think of something like shiny and reflective. Um, I'm not wearing it today. I'm wearing a different gloss today. This was just uncomfortable. It dried down matte. And I never really thought like a lip gloss should be, would be drying down to matte because I feel like that defeats the whole purpose of a gloss. I don't love this. I wanted a gloss um, and this just kind of dried down, made my lips kind of crackly and, and dry and uncomfortable. So I'm not a big fan of this and I wouldn't recommend this to you guys either. Now next we have the Be In Love With eyeshadow palette. Um, you guys saw that I kind of struggled with all the shadows that I had tried with this and I did a few more looks. I'm wearing it again today. Honestly what it comes down to is the mattes are just a little bit too dry of a formula. You really have to dip your brush in a lot and um, when you top off the excess, a lot of the excess flies off so you really have to just kind of dig your brush in there and it just feels like it's a little bit too much work to blend them out than is needed. There are other drugstore shadows like the Milani shadows or something like that that you could spend your money on and just have a better time working with. And then you guys saw that the shimmers were just kind of lackluster. I really had to either spray it with some setting spray or use the Too Faced Glitter Glue. And then this shade right here um, was a very crumbly. So it looks like it's gonna be like a nice, soft buttery shadow but when you dip your finger into it it's just too soft to the point where it crumbles and it barely stuck on my eye when I tried to use it. I wouldn't recommend that you guys go get this palette. I think there are just other things that you can spend your money on that will work. All right, and then I just want to film my outro today in case I forget to film it when I follow back up with you guys, you feel me? So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know if there's any other products that you'd like us to review, especially if it's drugstore, because you know I'm cheap. Now I love drugstore products and I love reviewing them. So, um, but let us know if there are any products that you'd like to see us review. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video, and we will see you guys in our next one.